Hi. <clears throat> I'd just like to say from my last uh, video about my seven fuel cells that I've now found a guy called Andrea Pucciarec who's happened to have a design of a water fuel cell injector of hydrogen by dissociation of water using frequency and if you look on my right up on the right hand side you can paste all the design and uh, try and copy it. Basically I designed it in 1970 and it seems that Stanley Mayer uh, either enhanced it or just directly copied it in the 1980s. Pucciarec is now dead of course so I'll just give you a quick glimpse of what you can actually look for and not be that good because my camera's a bit crap but I've printed it off basically this first part I've been told is the frequency generator which you do need it's the electronics on the right hand side where you can see it's virtually the same as Mayer's apart from this was done in 1970 That's, that really is I've been told a microwave oven in its which I, d I don't really know but I'm just saying that from what I've been told but apart from the capacitor being in the microwave oven the capacitor is like Mayer says the uh, electrodes on the right hand side what he did miss out if you look at H2O enthusiast on YouTube who's a brilliant guy in talking layman's terms with all the algebra and whatever all these experts kind of baffle as people with is that they should be insulated until the very point of injection so it loses no voltage that's on the electrodes and it does only need two electrodes so my seven cell uh, ice cream dishes in my last video was really a waste of time because all you need is a frequency generator an amplifier which is all this on the left hand side which has, I've got the frequency generator but I don't understand it still uh, and then you just place the frequencies in harmony according to Andre Pruric there's molecular, atomic and then etheric and you have to place all three onto the electrodes to vibrate them and with them being insulated and then a voltage at the tip as you'll see in this next page which is is design of the actual injector so you've no storage at all of hydrogen it's basically coming in feeding up the, through the, the innards of the electrodes in this injector which is if you have a look in Mayer's video where he's with the news team he's actually got a diesel injector adapted out of a diesel car which this this to me also seems to be the same being a diesel mechanic um, the injector has the frequency on both electrodes but you must place the frequency of whatever your electrodes are coated with this one's nickel alloy according to Andre Prioric and at the very tip it actually both electrodes tubes are insulated with a quartz tube in between them and then at the very tip it's released the powers of the voltage is released with the frequency and it disassociates the water directly into whatever you want it to explode in but like I say for a clearer view because the camera's crap is uh, to actually go on the right hand side paste it in your web search and you'll get all this information where all the chemistry and physics and it's patent and images and just print them off and all the sine waves so really for making a water hydrogen engine you've got to pulsate it with frequency definitely even the EV1 electric car of GM if you have a look at their uh, videos in the past uh, Alan Coconi actually did a frequency generator to power to power something I can't understand what he's done, I've asked a guy but uh, I would expect he was doing the same dissociating water but they don't seem to tell you as usual but 
as you can see it's all according to sine waves it's all according to frequency you've got to have voltage like I say H2O enthusiast if you type that in for the guy on YouTube he'll explain all Joseph Newman's laws because I've not that clued up on it I've done tons of research on actually trying to suss out how these guys were making hydrogen and oxygen in the past especially John Keeley in 1890 who seemed to have started the ball rolling of course he's dead as well got run over they all seem to die a bit funny when they start to develop something what's quite easy so I know that I know the videos a bit crap with the drawing but uh, if you go to the site you'll get everything off I've got a frequency generator pulse width mode just need the time now to experiment with it and see what I can do and being a diesel fit I've got plenty of diesel injectors so I hope this helps everybody uh, if you do get some results just give us an email will you or place it on YouTube and let everybody know cheers thanks a lot